Hello survivors, welcome to another video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the best possible way to take down walker stages, be it on world map, road map, survival road, or later on in tournament road. Especially when you come into later on in survival road and tournament road, you're going to want to have a really buffed out um, crit team, basically, as I would call it, because that's how you build your teams against walkers. Walkers have really high HP. If you long press on a walker on any stage, you get their statistics. They can sometimes have like 3,000 HP, even at really low energy stages. However, if you crit on these on, on walkers with any of your characters, it instantly kills them with a headshot. That's how it works in the TV show, that's how it works in the comic, that's how it works in the game. Um, so we're going to look at a couple of characters that will be very useful. There are three main dynamics to a good walker um, team. There, First up is the leader, and that's what we're going to look at first. But then it's going to be the team composition in terms of other characters that can help your team have more crits and work with the leader. And then thirdly, it's going to be weapons. And I'd say weapons, especially later on against the really hard survival road and the hard tournament road stages, are probably the most important factor because they, they add the most crit. Okay? So we're going to look at some leaders, and we've got a bunch of leaders here. And first up we're going to have Green Michonne, or Strong Michonne. And she's one of the few um, strong characters that give a crit lead, especially as uh, outside of the five stars. Um, so she's worth holding on to if you get one, because uh, like I say, for Survival Road and Tournament Road, very useful. 24 crit to all strong teammates. Very similar character is going to be Yellow Rick, but instead of strong teammates it's fast. Then we have characters that give it to all like melees or all ranged which so abby is a four star she's available from ascendance and she gives 16 crits or melee and then we have ezekiel who gives 24 and that's basically what you should look for if you if you get your hands on a leader or a character that has a leader skill and it's got crit you're generally better off keeping hold of it just just for survival roads just for tournament roads because they're very useful in the end um some of the lower level characters which are quite easily acquirable is going to be um holly she gives all teammates 12 crit, which is pretty useful. Not just range, not just melee. All teammates. And then we have the same thing with Andrea. And then there are a bunch of other characters. I've, I've just picked up a few that I, I remembered. I mean, 8 crit isn't a lot, but it's, it's, it's something. You're going to get a little bit extra. So if you, get, um, if you get a better one, you can maybe discard your old ones. But sometimes you will come up on stages on Survival Road where it's like you're just only allowed to take um, tough characters. So she would be your crit lead if you haven't got better. And that's how it works. So that's how that's how leaders work. Pretty basic, pretty obvious. Now we're going to look at team comps in terms of characters that can help you out. And here we have a fast character. His name is Benji, also available in Ascendance. And as you can see from his adrenaline rush on the top left, it says that, well, part of it says that he gets you get 30 crit for three turns, and that's to all your teammates. So you get an extra 30 crit on top of the leader skill, which is really useful. And there are a bunch of characters that can give this. Uh, Connor, as you can see. A Rosita. Negan isn't as good, but it's, it's pretty decent. Um, but we also have Luke. And I'd say Luke is probably the best. Just because it's 45 AR and it gives 40 crit. He is extremely useful. If you get your hands on a Luke, always hold on to it. Even if you're taking this character with a leader that doesn't benefit Luke, it is such a good buff and it goes off so quickly that it's going to be worthwhile... Um, holding on to. Uh, we'll look at a couple of other characters that are useful. We've got um, some of the low level crit. I use Sophia for quite a long time just because it's very fast and I can use it whenever I want to use it. And as a big bonus she has got tenacity which means she can't get one shot by a zombie or a walker. She has to be hit twice which is quite useful. Although she hasn't got much HP so she's going to drop quite quick regardless. Um, and then we've got other characters like characters that have life steal. If you are getting hit, taking characters with life steal, you can buff yourself up a bit. Maybe taking healers. Remember, damage doesn't really mean anything against walkers. It's all about crits. So you can you can stack loads of healers in and try and get your defense buffs up. So if they even get close, you can just pop a defense buff. And defense works quite well against uh, walkers. We also have a very, very important one. If you ever get your hands on a guardian character, um, they, I don't think they've released... A guardian outside of this Jesus, and this was a limited edition Jesus from the Choose Your Side event. They, I think they should release a three star or a four star. I'm not sure if there are any. Um, where if this guy gets a crit, he basically gives one one absolute defense to a character on your team, and and you can give it to everyone on your team. I, I numerous times I've had everyone with guardian, and it is really really useful. 
So if you get someone with Guardian, uh, hold on to them. They're very, very good. So that's that's basically how characters work, and that's how leaders work. Very, very basic. I think a lot of people know how to do this part. Um, but I do see a lot of people when they put their weapons in their hands, they use, um, I would say, I would say not the best weapons. They would use a weapon like this. And a weapon like this is just going to give 30 crit. And that, that's okay. But when you come to the later stages, you need more. You need as much as possible. And what I'm going to look at and show you how to uh, get much better weapons. Where this has got another 24 crit, which is basically like having another leader in your team. And it's really important if you haven't got a leader, um, a good leader, to get these weapons to this sort of level. So we're going to look in the armory. We'll uh, discard the changes. So we'll go to the armory. And uh, we're going to look at how to improve our weapons um, to get as much crit as possible. So while in armory, you just all you have to do is click this purple one. That's getting highlighted. And then you do the special stat addition. You sort by crit. It's probably the best way to do it. And as you can see, I've got five of every single weapon type with the same buffs. And it gives me a lot of crit for all of my weapon types and it's the same buffs because all of them start with 30 crit I just add um, one crit to each and then they it, that actually has a critical success so it becomes two instead of one and then the third um, slot as you can see is bonus crit tw plus 20 crit when HP is more than 60% and that's the HP of your enemy now walkers have so much HP that is going to be very hard to whittle them down. You're going to get a headshot, especially if you've got good weapons and a good leader. You're going to get a headshot before you uh, just whittle them down. So we're going to just add a couple of tier threes onto a, a selection of weapons. So these three strong weapons just here. I'm going to add Slayer 1. As you can see, this, this is the one we want to add. And it's really easy. I think you have to be level Armory 8 to, to research this. It doesn't need very good items, two star items, which is you can get very easily. As you can see, I've got tons, and it isn't because I, well, it is because I've got a lot, but it's also because I don't use these. I use much higher level items. I generally use three star and four star items on the on the things I actually want. Those are the things I've got shortages of. So we're going to hit craft. Now you have to wait an hour, but I, I have got prestige eleven, so I can instantly skip. And this will give us a buff, and it should it should crit. Sometimes it doesn't. It didn't crit. It actually didn't crit. Unbelievable. So let's see what we get. That's that's the worst we can get. So if you get if you get no crit, and generally it's brown when it's a non crit, as you can see, um, and I think yeah you can see it, it's it's a it's like orange writing when it's non crit. You just reset the weapon. That's all you do is you should reset the weapon. And when you see the animation of the weapon coming in, when you craft it and you skip, you'll see green smoke go up when it doesn't crit. So we saw green smoke come up last time. Will we see green smoke this time? No, we don't. No green smoke. So it has crits. There are two possibilities with the crit. It's the one we want, which is what we got. And there is a, another possibility for crit. Let's see if we can get that one. Just so I can show you. Oh, I, I'd say it's the, it's the worst one as well. So we're going to upgrade a few until we get it. I'm getting the better crit every single time now. This is uh, this is unheard of. I had to reset my weapons quite a few times to get this good one. And I'll explain to you once I get it. There we go. This is the other crit we can get. And it's not as good because you only get it for the first two turns of every wave. And if you come up against, say, 25 walkers, that's going to last a minimum of five waves. That's if you crit every single attack. And generally, that's going to last a little bit longer. So if you get this, maybe hold on to it for the, for the moment. Especially if you don't have the insta skip like I do. If you have to wait an hour or 45 minutes, keep hold of it and then go on to the next weapon. Just so that you've got a selection of weapons. And then once you've got all your weapons crafted and, and done, you can come back to these ones that didn't get the good crit. Didn't get this bonus 20 crit when HP is more than 60% and you can reset them. Okay, and you can go into reset easily like this. Just got to be careful not to reset a, a proper weapon. And we'll find one of the ones that was bad. So we get the bonus crit when HP is less than 30%. And we just reset that one quite easily. Like that. So once we've done that and we've got all the weapons that we want to have the the special trait on, we can just upgrade the basic stats on the other ones to get like one or two. It isn't much crit, but every little bit helps. And, and as you'll see when I add this, 
So add crit. Tier 1. Make sure you go to tier 1 crit. As you can see, it only needs 1 star items. Major the majority of the items only 1 star items, which are hard to even use because there's not much you can use them on that is actually worthwhile. Even at a low level, I think. Um, unless your armory isn't very high. But even when your armory is high, like, getting these weapons to this sort of standard is really good. So, And that only takes 15 minutes to do, so I think most people could skip that. And it crits, so that's that's a finished product. It isn't the best weapon, but it is a finished product. And that gives us 42 crits every time we attack a, a walker with more than 60% HP. So that's got 12 more crit than this weapon. Obviously, if this weapon had the buffs that it should have on it, it will look like this. And that's really tasty. You get, Like I say, you get another 24 crit. That's like having another leader. So if you have a leader that has 24 crit, and then you have this weapon, and then someone in your team that can buff, even if it only buffs for 25, and then another leader from your faction for, say, like, let's say only 15, you're going to have nearly 80, 100 crit. And that's going to be really useful on higher stages in the world map, higher stages on, on the roadmap. It's going to be really useful for gear maps if you're struggling with those. I just thought I'd just show you this. Guys, it's very simple. Again, I'll just quickly just go through it. You go to um, you go to your armory, and you go to add replace special stat. You select any weapon you want to do this on. Um, I would say specifically a crit weapon, and then you go to slayer one. That's it. That's all you need to add. And even on a four star M, as you can see, it doesn't need that much. Two star arms, uh, require parts, and two star arms in a critical and success rate increase. So. Very, very straightforward. Hope this helps you guys. Um, and hopefully it helps you to keep on surviving, guys. And that's what you're going to have to do now. So thank you very much. Uh, have a good day. And, and like I say, keep on surviving.